it's very important to know if the buildings are being maintained and if they have enough reserves because if they don't and you look back at the history and they've done a lot of special assessments and that could be an indication that you could also be having special assessments and if that happens it can really throw your numbers off um, so the other thing that you want to do is you want to know whether the HOA includes sewer water cable those are the different things because that's going to make a difference on your budget if you're doing long-term or short-term rental. And then um, that's the other thing is before we go looking at properties, we have to check the neighborhoods because some neighborhoods have restrictions on um, how many rentals they'll take in a, a current complex. And so before we run around and start showing you property, we have to do our due diligence on that. And then if you want a short-term rental over mid-term rental over long-term rental, and we have to make sure that that's the case as well. And sometimes the agent doesn't always want to tell us. They may know, but they always say to verify the facts, which means we have to contact the HOA. And a lot of times these are big management companies. They're not always responsive to us as the agent on the buyer's side. They're responsive to the seller. So there's a lot going in before we even step foot into opening the lock of a um, property to show our clients. And then they need to know what the return on investment is going to be. They need, then we need to look at the rentals to see what the rent is bearing in the area and then do their numbers from there. So just want to fill you in a little bit on investment property. Have a great day.